pilot in command, I'm trained to deal with any emergencies should they arise, and that would be rare. But in the very rare event of pilot incapacitation, this video is really about the safety features that you should be aware of so that you can easily survive such an emergency should it occur. So this aircraft is equipped with a ballistic parachute rescue system for the whole aircraft. In low light conditions the flight deck looks like this and in natural light it looks like this. You'll be seated on the right hand side. You'll note that on the right hand side in front of you there are numbers 1, 2 and 3 in red. We'll come to that in a moment. But just above you, you'll see that there is a green metal engraved safety card. And you can pull that down at any time. It has some basic instructions. We'll go through the main middle part of the card. But at the top, please note, no smoking, lock the door, fasten your harness tight. And down the bottom, you'll note that there's reference to flashlights on board, a ditch bag with safety supplies, a PLB or personal locator beacon, you'll have your phone and you can always kick the windows out when the aircraft is on the ground if you can't open them in an emergency situation. So as I said, in front of you you'll see there's number one and to the left number two and in front and above number three. So let's start with number one the most important thing, don't panic, just pull the red parachute handle that's above you downwards and forwards with a steady force. There it is. Pull it downwards and forwards with a steady force. The parachute system will deploy. You'll hear a rocket sound. The aircraft will tilt forwards and downwards and it will slow down and then it will sink at a steady rate. You'll be in a safety cell and you'll have your harness on. So let's talk about step two. You'd want to switch the engine off and by doing that you'll stop the propeller and you can also switch the fuel pump off by flicking these four switches downwards. Flick, 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 flick and the engine and the fuel pump will be switched off and that's a safe way to descend with the parachute system deployed. Step three, see number three in front of you. That refers to the ELT or Emergency Locator Transmitter Beacon. Just click that switch upwards to the single dash position and help will come. But of all of these steps, step one is the most important in an emergency. Just pull that red parachute handle downwards and forwards with a firm steady force until you hear the parachute rocket deploy. Now in the very rare event of a water landing, there's a life jacket for you, it's in front of you, just above your head. Pull it down, take it out of its packet, pull it over you, tie the waist clip around your waist and you can inflate it with the red pull tab or with the red mouthpiece. There it is above you, inflate it on the way out of the aircraft and you can always kick those doors out, remember that. Now above you there's also a flashlight in a black pouch. There it is there. There's a fire extinguisher to your right. Just pull out the pin and activate it by pressing the nozzle. There's a yellow flashlight that's waterproof. Its on button is at the base of the light. Just press it in. There's also a red fire blanket. And remember, these windows and doors are made of Lexan and you can kick them out if they don't open once the aircraft is on the ground. Thank you for your time and attention. Please review the video a few more times so that you can familiarise yourself with the routine. Any such emergency would be an extremely rare occurrence. It's just important that you know this information. I wish you a good day and blue skies. Beep <laughs>